Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anan Brand Wax Deers. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now ma's kitchen is a Chatak kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with with Anand Brand Wax Deers. The Festival of Lights glows once again in many nations. Let's take a trip and find the interesting variations. Some are quiet and simple, and others filled with family and friends. Join us now for Diwali Passport on WESN. After exploring Southeast Asia, Let's go to the southern tip of the African continent and visit South Africa. South Africa has three capital cities. The executive is Pretoria, the judicial Bloemfontein, and the legislative capital is Cape Town, the largest city being Johannesburg. With a population of 60 million, this country has the largest Indian city outside of India, Durban. This bustling port city was once home to a young lawyer by the name Mohandas Karamjan Gandhi. Almost all of South African Indians are either Hindu, Muslim or Christian. Due to the majority of the Hindu population, a number of Hindu festivals are celebrated here. The Diwali celebrations are more or less the same to that of India. Most of the Hindus here are from Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu in India and continue to follow their regional variations of Hinduism. A quick trivia here. All over the world, Diwali is observed on the day of Amavasya, or the new moon, the 15th day of the month of Kartik, starting at the end of the crop season. It is often associated with wealth and happiness. It's standard practice around the world for Hindus to perform their own rituals at home in their private temple setting. Also, the usual cleaning, decorating and sharing of meals and sweets with friends and family is a must. However, one of the main highlights of Diwali in South Africa is the Durban Diwali Festival, similar to Trinidad's Diwali Nagar. It's hosted by the South African Hindu Mahasabha and is free to the public. The event features shopping stalls with household merchandise, clothing, jewelry and more, plus entertainment and a food market. It even has an on-site temple for devotees wishing to pray. The main stage features music and dance performances with hits from both Bollywood and Hollywood, which is the Tamil language film industry. Surprisingly, they also feature their own local chutney songs. And by the way, the South African Hindu Mahasabha also hosts the Diwali festival in Cape Town. And both these events attract people from all walks of life, races, religions and cultures. Indian curry is popular at Durban's Diwali festival. And the city's signature dish is called Bunny Chow, which has nothing to do with rabbits at all. It was originally made by indentured laborers and features a hollowed out bread filled with savory vegetarian or meat-based curry served with sliced carrots, onion salad and chili. A big part of the weekend is the colorful floats procession with over two dozen floats moving through the streets of Durban to the old Durban drive-in. This is followed by a youth program featuring bhajans, dances, and the float procession prize-giving ceremony. Those interested in the more devotional aspects of the festivities enjoy satsangs and special prayer events. 
In spite of all the excitement for South Africans during this time though, they are not fortunate to have a national holiday like other places. In fact, many Hindu officials argue that after more than 160 years of Indian presence in South Africa, Diwali is still not recognized as a public holiday, and so many Hindus are unable to celebrate in the full and proper manner. And that's our look at Diwali in South Africa. I'm Shamji. Join us next time as we fly off to another destination with our Diwali passport here on WESN. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with Anand brand wax deers. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like Ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's kitchen is a Chata kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anan brand wax deers.